tayong first stage alarm. Ngayon, i-fulfill natin yung second stage. Ano naman yung second stage? Second stage is another zone ng detector plus yung ating uh, second stage alarm. Okay. Okay. Ano nangyari? Mayroon ng tinasabi ko kanina, pre-discharge time delay in 30 seconds. Second stage alarm and the evacuate gas discharge signal. Ibig sabihin, kung may tao doon sa loob, na-alarm na kaagad siya. Now, pwede kong it, kung may tao sa loob, pwede kong i-delay yung discharge ng gas using this abort switch. Ito, nakikita nyo, na-press. So, ang nakikita nyo is mayroong 30 seconds dito. 31 seconds. Okay? Ibig sabihin, bumalik siya sa 30 seconds. Habang hinuhold ko itong abort, it will hold the discharge of the gas. It will hold the power going to this solenoid. Ngayon, kung tatanggalin ko siya, the countdown will start again. So, from 30 seconds down to zero, this panel will give supply 24 volts to this solenoid. So, titingnan natin. Itong button, nilagyan, na, nilagyan namin ng light para makikita nyo. So, ang, so, ang nangyari ngayon is that yung pin na to ay pinos niya yung cylinder para i-discharge. So, our equation completed. The zone 1 plus the zone 2 plus the 30 seconds time delay. During discharge time, yung ating notification circuits, lahat ng ito ay magbibigay ng sound. Bell, first stage, second stage, discharge, sabay-sabay silang tutunog. Plus yung ating illuminated, illuminated lights. So, lahat na yan, during discharge ay gagana at magbabato ng signal papunta sa ating fire alarm or sa ating BMS ng gas discharge. So, yun ang ating operation ng uh, automatic. So, kung walang tao doon sa loob, okay, automatic siya magdi-discharge ng ganon. Pero kung there is somebody inside, pwede natin ma-delay using the abort switch. Ito yung abort na to. Okay? So, paano natin i-reset yung ating panel? Okay. Just push this uh, button here. Then, ating i-reset yung ating solenoid. So, that's it. How you will reset this solenoid. And now, panel natin is normal again. Now, ano naman yung semi-automatic discharge? Okay, semi-automatic discharge is using this manual release. Okay? So, kung ikaw ay nandoon sa isang room at nakita mo na yung fire na hindi mo na kayang i-contain, hindi na kaya ng automatic, hindi na kaya yung time delay, pwede mong i-override yung operation using manual pulse station. Okay? So, gagawin natin. Kapag i-operate ko yung manual release, there will be an automatic discharge. Ibig sabihin, instant yung magbibigay ng 24 volts dito sa ating solenoid. Okay, let's do it. At yung ating mga sounders, yung ating illuminated signs, ay automatically gagana silang lahat. Okay. So, ang gagawin na natin is push and fall down. So yun, yung ating operation ay successful. Nag-discharge yung ating gas. What is the purpose of maintenance switch? Maintenance switch is, is acting like a switch. Okay, paano siya? Yung ating solenoid kasi is wired from our panel to the maintenance switch to the solenoid. Ano ang function niya? Puputulin lang niya 
yung 24 volt signal to disable the 24 volts going to the solenoid. So, ibig sabihin kung system system arm, ibig sabihin nakakonect yung 24 volts from here down to here down to solenoid. Ngayon, kung ilalagay ko sa systems inactive, okay? Magkaroon ng trouble yung ating panel. In order to monitor, kailangan i-monitor siya ng panel kasi nga baka pinaglaro, pinaglaroan lang to na in case na mayroon fire hindi siya mag-activate so kailangan nakamonitor at magbibigay ng trouble signal dun sa ating fire alarm or sa BMS system okay so system inactive ibig sabihin walang power pupunta dito sa solenoid let's try using the manual release Open lang natin Okay Walang manual release na nangyari However, mayroon pa ring sound Okay, mayroon pa ring sound So, ibig sabihin kung may nagme-maintain doon sa, sa room na yan na maintenance team or somebody sa management project management at accidentally na nag-discharge during inactive hindi siya mag-discharge okay so it is safe kasi nga yung ating gas is napaka expensive at saka costly siya so in case mag-discharge at accident accidentally na nangyari nako napaka mahal yung ating refilling okay so it is safe na during maintenance gagamitin mo yung maintenance switch Pag ilagay natin sa systems arm, gagana ba yung ating solenoid? Yes. Gagana siya kasi nga binalik mo yung power supply niya. Tingnan natin dito. See? Automatically, nagbigay siya ng post ng pin doon sa, sa ating solenoid. At automatic magdi-discharge ka agad siya. Now, we will do the manual discharge. Okay. So ngayon, hindi gumana yung ating mga detectors, hindi gumana yung ating pole station. At ikaw ay malapit doon sa cylinder area. Yung cylinder area, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung cylinder area. Pwede mo rin gagamitin itong pull lever dito to discharge. For example, ito yung discharge pressure switch. This will confirm sa ating system na mayroong discharge using this discharge pressure switch. Paano nangyari? This one is connected to a piping system. Now, if ipupull ko ito, dadaan yung pressure at ipupush niya yung pin doon sa loob, magbibigay siya ng signal dito sa discharge pressure switch at magkaroon siya ng signal na may discharge. Okay, how will do it? Ito ay connected na doon sa ating piping system. Pag ipupull ko ito, automatic pupunta yung pressure dito at ipupull down niya ito. So, gawin natin sa simultaneous. Okay, gawin ko yung manual pull, Manual pull lever Okay, sabayan ko ito kasi nga Pupunta yung gas doon Okay Ibig sabihin Nag manual discharge ako Pupunta yung pressure dito At pinos niya yung contact Kasi normally open Normally close At nagbigay siya ng signal dito sa ating panel. So, this is manual discharge using the manual pull lever. So, disabled output. Ano yung ginagawa ng disabled output dito sa ating panel? Disabled output meaning pwede mong i-disconnect yung power ng it's either R or the releasing circuit or yung ating mga knock circuits. Ibig sabihin, ito yung knock, itong tatlong knock, at itong dalawang arc. Dito sa ating programming, pwede mo siyang i-disable isa-isa, pwede mo siyang i-disable na sabay. Okay. Kapag i-press natin yung disabled output, okay, it mentioned here, disabled output, this output, and ibig sabihin, lahat ng knock and arc, knock, knock circuits and arc circuits ay disabled. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya gagana. 
hindi siya gagana in case na gagamitan mo ng manual, gagamitan mo here or automatic, semi automatic or manual ay hindi siya gagana. Okay? Let's try it. Using this manual Si, walang gumana. Yung ating NUX, hindi gumana. Yung ating discharge, hindi rin gumana. Pero dapat, automatic discharge or in instant discharge to siya. Pero, dahil tinanggal natin yung mga power dito, hindi siya gumana. So, one way na para maprotektahan din natin na hindi mag-discharge yung ating gas is using this disabled output. If you have any questions, reactions, or if you want to know more about this uh, releasing panel, comment down below or contact me at uh, i-explain natin yung ating sistema na to. So guys, that's it. Paano na kami mag-testing ng uh, uh, releasing panel? I know it's a little bit complicated from the start, pero it's a standalone system na napakadali ng pag-aralan. Okay? At uh, yung pro process ng ating operation, ng testing is approved by our local authority. Okay. Guys, if you enjoy my video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, to subscribe, and hit, hit that bell button para lagi kayong updated sa lahat ng ating mga vlog. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to support my channel. God bless you.